Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. Today I have a review for you. Um, I was looking for CD player and I uh, bought one. Actually, it is CD player with Bluetooth and RS232. And I'm going to go these options through with you. And uh, this CD player day in. 500 CB Denon Professional. Um, so, uh, special thanks for Music House Thoman in Germany. Um, they deliver, delivered uh, really fast. Uh, so, when I ordered, uh, many years I didn't have any proper uh, CD player, and I thought now I have. Uh, possibility to get one but actually I made some research before I bought this one because there are many CD player available and the, it depends what kind of need you have what you are looking for and I uh, think for my uh, use um, this could be something uh, but I'm going to have lots of fun uh, next year. And uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how it works and what kind of possibilities you have. So what we have behind, we have Bluetooth. We have uh, unbalanced left and, uh, right and left. Uh, balanced right and left. Outputs, I mean. Then you have RS232C, this is for computer. And uh, here's also update uh, possibility. What I have done now, I have uh, one cable here. Uh, and if you don't know what that it is, this kind of cable, XLR cable and I'm using my uh, active uh, monitor box and my first what I'm going to test is uh, how it works uh, direct from uh, device to monitor box without any amplifier but of course um, when you have no amplif amp amplifier, um, you need some kind of uh, uh, thing to adjust your volume control. So I have here also something I'm going to show you. But we first we so the first test is of course how long it takes to download loading CD one it's already there so and I choose some song um, number three and play this is my own music so I have no uh, I don't have to think about copyright issues. Um, okay, it works. And how I adjust my volume control with this one. Uh, this one is bearing a monitor one. So, and it's passive. It's very nice. So, signal from a CD player, input and output my speaker behind. So, it works fine without amplifier. Or maybe you have a mixer. Uh, so, this is one way to connect this uh, CD player. 
and you can imagine you have uh, some kind of event uh, it's a really nice option with these uh, cables uh, also and uh, the next one is of course the question does it play also CDR um, CDs because uh, you know if you're a music maker I think you have lots of CDR records also loading it's really fast um, okay play it plays so the next one it could be option would actually I have uh, need a lot you are making recordings and you make also so demo CDs and uh, if it also works well loading there it is so it's really fast okay that's one CDs CDR and uh, recoverable um, um, uh, CDs also so there's no problem everything works fine So then we have this option, uh, AUX IN, you can uh, with uh, audio cable you can connect everything what you like, your phone or uh, uh, your recorder or anything. So it's nice option and this one is for USB, I think we don't have to um, go that through. So you can play mp3 uh, uh, wave files i think aatc and uh, some other uh, formats i check it so as i said the aux device connected to aux in c uh, playing audio from external device and when i look uh, external device it says uh, to play uh, audio on external device uh, for example smartphone computer portable music player etc connected to the aux in if uh, yeah okay and uh, USB port uh, it has ID3 tags version 1 uh, point X and 2.X M4A without uh, DRM production MP2 for MP3 file sample rate 44.1 bit rate 32 to 320 kbps format um, MPEG1 uh, audio layer Free file extension mp3 for wave file sample rate for 44 1 uh, slash 48 kilohertz bit rate 16 slash 24 uh, file extension wave and uh, 
uh, WMA without DRM protection. So I don't know. Um, as for me, uh, it's enough uh, uh, as far as I know. So our next option uh, could be maybe it would be fun to try some Bluetooth. So that's great. It found my uh, old mobile phone and uh, it works also. So, so far so good. What we have left, we have a connection with computer and a connection with my amplifier and uh, other box and I, uh, and also I want to um, try to if it's possible to have these four monitor more uh, four speakers at the same time uh, in action. I found uh, one cable but this is wrong one you know this is a computer cable for big television <laughs> so it doesn't work uh, yeah with computer yes but with a uh, device no because it needs uh, RS232C uh, cable so this experiment I cannot uh, show you but I'm sure it going to work and um, this option for me it was not so um, actually not so important but I think it it is also nice to have maybe I buy later uh, proper cable you never know if you need you know uh, with uh, connect your computer or some other devices and use these options but now I uh, try the trash in a traditional way to connect uh, uh, this CD player with my amplifier. So my uh, uh, <laughs> messy room other section here you know here I have my amplifier with this uh, RCA cable would come with also with this uh, device I uh, have connected now and um, basically connect with device with my amplifier and my amplifier have uh, passive speakers and uh, it works also And uh, what I wanted to also show you, of course, this device uh, uh, comes with uh, uh, remote control and uh, also you have this possibility if you have some kind of uh, stereo rack you know you can uh, use this one make it stable with uh, everything is there you know and my final test uh, if it works uh, through my uh, uh, amplifier also uh, or with these uh, four speakers okay basically um, you know if I uh, use my uh, passive speakers and my amplifier um, and CD player um, it works. When I connect my active speakers 
to the device uh, CD player, it needs still uh, volume control because uh, with my amplifier I cannot uh, uh, make any changes because uh, if you think uh, uh, amplifier and CD player and from CD player you have uh, monitors of course they have direct direct connection so I, I cannot adjust with my amplifier so you need something uh, between uh, your outputs and inputs but so now I have uh, my active speakers also I think maybe there would be possibility um, if I uh, would buy um, uh, some other plug, uh, plugins or something like that I could uh, uh, <coughs> use my active speakers but uh, um, it doesn't matter so it uh, works both way and uh, this one is also uh, nice it has mute function and also mono function so you can use this also with your PCR so it is uh, I think it is something also <laughs> what we need uh, if we are making music or if we are listening music also so I hope this uh, video was helpful for you uh, to decide what kind of uh, uh, CD player you need. And price point with this is because it is uh, yeah how many five six years old. So it is it was not so expensive as the new CD players, uh, for example, from Yamaha or something like that. They are uh, 300, uh, 300 euros and you don't have this kind of uh, possibilities what this uh, Denon had. So um, at this price point I think the new one was back in the day about uh, between 300-400 euros and now under 300 euros. So it is uh, uh, I think it's okay and uh, so far um, uh, uh, what I understand it uh, it is really great and uh, you know these buttons I have this feeling they are rubber so they are also nice studs and uh, uh, yeah what else I can say keep on rocking and uh, have a nice day and I see you next time with uh, something else Bye-bye.